Melmoth by Sarah Perry. What is it? What is it about? Should you consider reading it? Let's briefly discuss this, shall we? So Melmoth is Sarah Perry's follow-up novel to The Essex Serpent. It's not a sequel, it's completely non-related, but you know, The Essex Serpent has to be addressed in a video talking about Melmoth, I think, simply because of just how much of an impact the Essex Serpent has had. It is one of my favorite novels of recent years, and it's just a delightful, gothic, twisty, delicious tale. I love the Essex Serpent, so I was really excited to read uh, her next novel, Melmoth, which has another beautiful, beautiful cover design, and it's just altogether a really, really nice object. Um, the book is beautiful in and out. Um, so what is it about? It's weird. It's one of those books that, you know, it follows different storylines. It's kind of a little bit like a Russian doll kind of thing with many stories uh, within stories. And you follow, you know, the main character uh, who is this woman in Prague and she reads a lot of documents and letters and texts. And so we follow those things that she's reading and we get to see different stories set in different time periods, but everything in this book centers around the idea of Melmoth, who is this kind of uh, weird, wandering entity, kind of like a spectral figure, like a ghostly figure, and it's a very gothic notion, you know, this idea of this kind of old, uh, ethereal, womanly figure, um, that follows you and knows all of your secrets and especially what makes you feel guilty and rotten inside. It's it's kind of a very paranoid idea. I love that. So, pros and cons of Melmoth by Sarah Perry. I think, first of all, I think we should address the fact uh, that this book will suffer uh, just by, you know, comparing it to Sarah's previous novel, The Essex Serpent. The Essex Serpent is better. I think it's miles better. The Essex Serpent is just one of those rare gems, you know? I, I think it's much superior. However, don't be discouraged. You should read Melmoth. I think I gave it four or maybe three and a half stars on Goodreads, which is a very good rating. It's a good enough rating. I think, um, let's start with the cons. Um, I think the book can feel a little disjointed because, like I said, it, it there's a lot of different storylines at the same at the same time taking place, and so it it reads a little weirdly. But in a way, that's also a positive thing, you know, because it makes up for a very interesting, uh, diverse reading experience. What I think this book lacks in my opinion and what it suffers from the most is the ending. I didn't feel the ending was quite up to par. Um, the beginning of the book, now getting into the positives, the beginning of the book was just absolutely majestic. I loved it. It was so entrancing. It was incredibly gothic. It was incredibly sort of uh, cozy, but also menacing at the same time. I was completely dazzled reading the first hundred pages of this book or so. I really, really thought it was expertly done. Um, so the book can feel at times a little disjointed because there's a lot of different stories in this kind of Russian doll. Um, but in the end, I will recommend this book because I think even though it can be a little... Um, not exactly satisfying in, in some of the arcs of some of the characters, I still think this book does something quite unique, and that is enveloping you in that kind of gothic, wintry, cold, but at the same time intimate, warm, cozy uh, atmosphere. It's a very atmospheric book, and I really, really loved it. I think this is maybe more experimental than The Essex Serpent, so I really, really applaud Sarah Perry for that, for trying something that is different, new, and she's pushing the boundaries. This book um, is a unique reading experience, I will say that. So I think you should read Melmoth by Sarah Perry. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below, have you read Sarah Perry's works? What do you think of her work? What do you think of The Essex Serpent? If you have read that book, are you considering reading Melmoth? Have you tried it? Have you not tried it? Why? 
Have you read Melmoth and what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.